this is the old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if it's already here. Where is it? Found anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a, a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the Sarkis of your people, yet I've never heard. I never of... said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light or their stories. I do. When Sutra invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. But the war with the Vani had only just ended and I was... wary. Long after, I learned how Sutra devoured the Elves' immortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Spartelheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature, I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you are protected. Sinmara travels far and wide, but I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm. To unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Oh, I know the place. Home to the most ill-tempered shits imaginable. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Langrin was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broker. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. From Ivali. What do I care? Go talk to the Ganger. Ganger? Yeah. The chief. Name's Oakland. So much shit. Nice to see you. A word, my friend. Ivaldi requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. 
Go talk to Orglev. He's the master of this workshop? Master? <laughs> nah, but he's chief when the masters ain't here. What do you want? Evil descends me. It requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokker or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Brooker? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Brocker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... By Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins. Times it stung me. Three on the hand, then the neck, all oh, in on my eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel, a big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutungu's special mead? What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Ewaldi with the job and he'd done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. So many starving dwarves produce so Is much. It too? I was handed to Sindri. Even after all that has happened, he still has the defiance to seek out a horn of Svartal fame's finest.
this one. The sweet smell of meat. Bound by the stench of muspels. Yatna, too. The smell of mead grows strong. This must be where everything is stored. So his nose would have guided him here. This hammer bears the mark of Sindri, and here, a bag of roasted acorns. Surely there is some sign of Sindri here. A chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. Spells have a prison not far from here. Jan's hoops, they call it. This blood is many days old. One trail leads in, the other out. Is this Sindri's special mead? Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue, using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong, and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish. But alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoos. That is where I should go next. Reeks of misery. What? It's likely Sindri was brought here many days ago. I hope I'm not too late. Have a look soon in there. Salaka was satisfied on this occasion, as this cult has first 
Atom, and that amulet, the sigil, Sindri, reckless fool, all this was a meat. Well, it is done. I must return the body to Brokia. Chance led to Sindri's capture. But the nature of his death, that was not chance. When the enemy realized they had such a prize in their clutches. All the Pukas, even one such as Sindri's, are of lesser value. Still, it can't be coincidence that Kalda sated the Salakar with the Hukas of so many races. Muswell. Jotun, Dwarf, who knows what else? Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of Dwarfs. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sidri. No. No! My dear Sindri! <laughs> the funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. I must speak with broker. I must find a way to ease Brokers and make him amenable to my wishes. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar, like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... he always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes! I've seen him do it many times in the workshop! Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. But then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead. Right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. I'll cut down that oak tree now Sindri's gone. Can't stand the sight of it without him here. Now Brokkur is all alone. How will he manage without his big brother to guide him? Sindri, you son of a rock. How can I talk with you when my heart has torn asunder? <sighs> Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri. To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brooker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. 
wouldn't be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. I am very fond of the dwarves, yet their constant needs is exhausting. Oh, Loki, friend, betrayer. What I'd give for a moment of your guilted conversation, even the lies. Sindri, where would I hide my beloved tools? Somewhere high up, perhaps. I must reunite these tools with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. Disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, fuck off. You must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Even the is come. Perhaps he can be of use.
My brother. A true master. He was, uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the sword. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine Sutra was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that meat. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svatalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. The finest? I've forged better in my sleep. Good to see you're getting along. So, Broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. To study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bugger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> if you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own... Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Hey, sir. You return. What? You deal with a fire, nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. 
I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself, one that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Emir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Yofrsmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorpe, her supplies hub. I'll deal with all three. In the meantime, I shall return to Etri. I will send word once my stepmother has become more... amenable. I'll return when I'm done. And I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. So this task, we must put our minds together. Well, my mind, and whatever you call that.
You're back. Sinmar's plans lie in ruins. I just hope you know what you're doing. Surely I should be asking that of you. Now, tell me, what does it do? I ain't got a clue. These light elves and they're sneaky. You've learned nothing? Whatever its use, the power it contains, it holds more than what you said. Such as? Well, for a start, there's a bloody dwarf in there. Anyone we know? Nah, and it's not important. Dwarf Hoogers don't carry much weight. Not even mine. So, what does it contain? All I know is that it's more than Malviger, Calder, and some dwarf no one cares about. Fine. In the stories, what was the actual point of the Salakars? Hoogers were what vitalized them. 
But it was the magic that gave them their purpose. And that magic was different to each one. Magic? You mean Seda? Nah, some elf shit no one knows anymore. Except Suter. That fire nymph? She sent word. And? Your plan worked. Shinmara's ready to barter, if it means getting you out of the way. Where? At the bridge leading to Feigarda. Light the beacon, and she'll come out with your lad. The power that the Salakar holds... ...it must not fall into Surtur's grasp. Uh, I'll reclaim it, once Balder is safe. You bring that which is Sutter's. Give me what is mine. And I will hand over what is his. Come midway.
Whatever's behind one of these doors. Locked cells. I must find the proper keys. Truly, Kelder. Truly. You dare to torture my own flesh and blood. If only I could bring you back from the dead and kill you all over again. This blood trail. Whoever was dragged here was badly wounded. Yet he was strong. It took at least four jailers to hold him. Symbol of hope, renewal, but not for Baldur. We forced so many drafts down his gullet. His torment was quite beautiful. Blind fool, you never saw what was in front of you. Here is your child. Is light gone before you even set foot here? And the rest of him? It now skulks in Helheim. Allow me to reunite you with your boy. No! <laughs> Traitor. I've seen dwarves with better stature. <laughs> Take care of it. Asgard. But you are an imposter. Heart as black as tar. Savage. Monstrous. You've locked that truth away. Built a code to act as its jailer. But the darkness cannot be kept hidden. It oozes out like pus from a wound. Poisoning everything it touches. That is what it means to be Odin the Deceiver. <laughs> 